I would like us to look at permutations of distinct objects using some of the objects and without repeating any object. There's a rule that says the number of arrangements of n different objects taken r at a time is given by that formula npr, p is for permutation. You can write it like that. Uh, you, you could also write it like this. That is the better way to write it. So the number of arrangements of n different objects. So we have n different objects and we are taking some of the objects. And in this case, we are taking r subjects out of the n at any given time. So n permutation r, the formula is then given by n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. Right, let's look at an example, otherwise these rules won't make sense at all if we take them out of context. Um, it says a secret code uses four vowels. Remember your vowels are your A, E, I, O, U. Right, so we are forming a code or a pin and this code is using four vowels, so it's four out of five. Right, so how many different codes can be made? So using that formula, we are given five vowels, but we want to use only four of those. So that would be 5P4. And 5P4 means five factorial should be divided by five minus four, all that thing factorial. Okay, uh, if you simplify this, this is the same thing as five factorial divided by five minus four is one, so that is divided by one factorial. Uh, I want to tell you now that uh, by definition, one factorial is equal to one, so please take note, one factorial by definition is equal to one, and zero factorial is also equal to one. So the, these are the definitions. Okay, so that is 5 factorial over, over 1 factorial. So you can simplify that. You can multiply that now. That should give you 120. Here's another example. Uh, those digits, uh, 2, 3, 4, and 5. They are used to make numbers. It says no digit can be used more than once. Please take note. Uh, no digit can be used more than once in each number. Right, part A is asking how many four digit numbers can be formed. So we are forming four digit numbers and uh, we are taking these four digit, I mean, we are forming the four digit numbers using the four digits that are there. Now you can answer this question in many different ways. You can use the previous knowledge from our previous lesson, or you can use the NPR method, right? So out of four, we're picking four, right? Because we want to form a four digit number. And so that will be 4P4. Uh, by definition, this is 4 factorial divided by 4 minus 4 all factorial. Now, that will give you 4 factorial over 0 factorial. Remember, we said 0 factorial is equal to 1. So this then means your answer is just 4 factorial. You can simplify that. 4 factorial will give you 24. Uh, what about B? 
write in B, we are forming three digit numbers. So we're using the four digits to form a three digit number. So out of the four, we're only picking three. Right. And your calculator, actually your calculator can work out for P3 straight away if you don't want to use the formula. So this is equal to 4 factorial divided by 4 minus 3 all factorial. Now that will give us 4 factorial divided by 1 factorial. And we said by definition 1 factorial is equal to 1. Therefore, 4 factorial over 1 factorial should be equal to 4 factorial. And uh, that should give you an answer of 24. Let's have a look at C. Now we want to form a two-digit number, two-digit number from four digits. So out of the four digits, we're picking only two. And so that is four factorial divided by four minus two all factorial. Uh, I said earlier on that you can actually use your calculator to work out four P2. I think at this stage, I would encourage you uh, to use this kind of approach so that you learn this because you will get questions that require you to simplify without using a calculator. So you need to remember how these formulas work. So don't be in a hurry to use your calculator. So if you simplify this thing, you'll get four factorial in the numerator and that will be two factorial in the denominator. You can then simplify that. I think you should get, uh, that should simplify to four times three, which is 12. Okay, uh, D, D says how many one digit numbers can be formed? We just want a one digit number. So out of the four, we're picking only a digit one. So this is four factorial divided by four minus one, all factorial, which will give us four factorial divided by three factorial. And if you simplify, 4 factorial over 3 factorial, that should give you a 4. And yeah, there are many different ways of getting the same answer. Uh, let's look at E. Uh, e says how many numbers can be formed? Like altogether, how many numbers can we form? So please take note in this case, uh, we can actually form a 4-digit number. I mean, we can form 4-digit numbers. We are not repeating uh, digits, remember? So we can form a four-digit number, we can form three-digit numbers, we can form two-digit numbers, we can form one-digit numbers. So all together, how many numbers can we form? So we need to take the number of four-digit numbers. We say there are four, sorry, there's 24 four-digit numbers plus 24 three-digit numbers plus 12 two-digit numbers, plus four one-digit number. Um, that, that should give us the number of numbers that can be formed. Uh, please check that that gives us 64. Okay, then F, what is the smallest four-digit number that can be formed? Don't, don't overthink that one. You're just using the digits 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, what is the smallest number that you can form? Obviously, that would be 2, 3, 4, 5. And what is the largest four-digit number that you can form? Obviously, that would be 5,432. 